What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's episode of Beginner Tips is going to focus on probably one of the most important tips you guys will hear from me this year. Um, it took me a while to get to wanting to break this down for you guys, but I do have it, and uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, we're going to show you how to stop slant routes, out routes, basic, basic patterns with two-man under, how to use two-man under to the best of its abilities. What we like to do is uh, use individual shade coverage. How you do that is you hit uh, Y on Xbox or triangle on PS3 and then you're going to hit A on Xbox or X on PS3. Activate your individual coverage and then you're going to click whatever receiver icon you want to change. So if you say, okay, well pre-snap I'm thinking you know, CV Johnson is going to be on, a, on an out route. So I'm going to hit X to activate his individual stuff. And I'm going to flick the right analog stick to the left to shade my corner to the left side of him. And you think, oh, well, okay, well, boy, what about Graham? He's going to be on a corner route. We well, can do the same thing to him. Uh, y, A, A for Graham. Flick the analog stick to the right. And then you say, well, but then I got Woods. He's going to be on a post. Well, Y, A, B, flick the right analog stick to the, to the left. So that's going to play him to the inside. And now you're going to see, I'm going to try to throw this corner route to Graham. And look at that, my guy stood right there. And, you know, I guess if my guys weren't smoking pot, they would actually put their hands up and bat the ball down. But sometimes, you know, it's a catch-22 in Madden 25. And then again, if you shade your boy, and of course, my controller drops. It wouldn't be a beginner tip if my uh, controller didn't disconnect once or twice, you know. That's what we like to do. We like to keep you on your toes here. Uh, but anyway, if we, if we put Johnson on the out... We use the shading coverage technique um, to the outside here. You're going to see this out route is no longer going to be open. Now, that was a wicked catch. But, what will happen, excuse me, is an in route will now be wide open. There we shade into the outside, and the route's open. Well, now it's a catch-22, and this is where we talk about route trees and, and having ability to call multiple routes. Well, but if we shade into the inside, now you're going to see that this out route that was once open is no longer open, unless your cornerback is, you know, just being an idiot. Okay? So that's how we use the shade coverage technique. And um, what I like to do uh, out of dime is I'll run something like this. I'll show blitz so that I get this press alignment on the outside. I will um, send a pressure, so I'll send it off the right here. So I'll re-blitz Jenkins and I'll re-blitz Branch. I'll shade coverage everybody outside. The reason I do this is because I'm going to make sure that I'm user controlling the inside. This is going to give me heavy pressure and it's going to force them to make a, a quick read with everybody shaded to the outside the most popular routes like corner routes are now taken away and now if I click on I can maybe swap that down or whatever but playing offense and defense doesn't always go and not everything always goes as planned you can also individually press so so since Stevie Johnson has a high BPR we'll back him off so we'll flick it up and We'll flick that analog stick up once we access that individual coverage to just back him off. We're still going to get a press on Graham and on Woods. And we're going to shade both of them to the inside because they're going to run, so because we, we think they're going to run slants or something. And now you see the idea here behind the defense, okay? So that's the basics of the shading techniques, how to individually press, individually shade out and left and right, and, and all the ins and outs of what shading can do for you. You can also spotlight receivers. So if we're running like a cover three, and we think it, we're thinking there's going to be an out route to the left side, we're going to put Jenkins in a buzz zone, shade our coverage out, and we're going to individually spotlight him because we definitely do not want them throwing that out route to, to Johnson. Well, so here you go, snap the ball, we spotlight him. And now you see Jenkins is actually going to go out there. Now, obviously, if you're literally high, I guess, like my team is today, sometimes you have to flinch them a little bit or something. It's all, you know, kind of a, a big deal to stop simple out routes and stuff. But this is how you would do it. And, you know, this is, this is what we do. So thank you for your time. I hope this video shed some light on how you can use shade coverage in Madden 25. Uh, I think it's one of the most effective tools on defense for man coverage. I think you should always shade people out. 
uh, at first because corner routes and out routes are one of the most popular routes in Madden 25. Thanks for your time today. Be sure to check out our advanced tip at the end of the week as well as the rest of the videos we have for you this week. Thanks for your time. We'll see you next time.